The two stories that are dominating the news at the moment today are both about optics and it's as if the powers that be, the powers in control of our society are incapable of seeing how things appear from outside their little turret in the castle and it, it, it's as if they've never read what is it, the 1786 poem by Robbie Burns, uh, The Ode to a Louse and the English translation would run something like, oh, oh, would some power the gifty gears to see ourselves as others see us, others. And the inability of Rishi Sunak to see what the uh, honours, how the honours is discredited by giving a knighthood to somebody who has just provided five million pounds of money to the Conservative Party, it simply looks shoddy and the honour system should be for people who have worked hard in the community, who have blown whistles when things have gone wrong in the hope that things will go right, who have helped the community, who have gone beyond and above their calling rather than who have put their their hand in their pocket to pull out a little bit of chocolate which can be tossed off to the conservative party and will be recouped in cash and honors uh, in, uh, in 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 tax credits and tax uh, relief it's it, it's a really bad image there's that on the one hand and then on the other hand there's the image of the post office spending a hundred million pounds of public money despite the uh, to prosecute to th this element of spite despite the knowledge that they had in 2017 that the horizon system was faulty they could have saved time they could have saved money they could have saved tears and the post office today says it's deeply sorry it means nothing that deeply sorry how does What's the difference between sorry, which they should have been saying a long time ago, and deeply sorry? What does deeply sorry mean? I, I don't understand the difference between sorry and deeply sorry. The only way that one can uh, establish an apology by the post office is for them to repair the damage that has been done, and they are dragging their feet. And they're, they're trying to suggest that some people who would otherwise have been exonerated were not entirely honest that they that they had failings well i don't think it's in the post office's duty job description or right to point out anybody else's failings because the failings of the post office are so enormous and then on top of that it it cost an arm and a, and a, and a leg to actually get a to get a stamp i went into the post office in rugby the other day because i thought it would be so useful to have some blank postcards. You know the postcards without the picture on. The postcards that uh, uh, every so often you get you get this signal in the uh, uh, on the media saying send a stamped address postcard. And that's what they're asking for. So I thought, well, if I go into the main post office in Rugby, I'll be able to pick up a a a, 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 a little um, a, 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 a little wad of postcards. First of all, they didn't know what I was talking about. Then they didn't have any. And then the postmaster or postmistress who is supposed to be in charge, uh, I was directed to a window to talk to this person. That wasn't the post off postmaster or postmistress. They don't know where that person is, and that person isn't in today. And you just think, well, if nobody's really taking responsibility, if, if they don't produce the sort of things... <laughs> that are routinely still requested. I mean, it's a bit old-fashioned, but nevertheless, postcards, they're very useful things for dropping little notes on. Very useful. And if you put a stamp on, you can drop the little note through the post box system. Or maybe not. Maybe I drop off postcards to people and they never get sent. I don't know. But I'm beginning to worry that the post office itself as a 
as an institution has become a shoddy parody of service and isn't doing its job. And why should I not worry about that? Because nothing we're hearing in the news gives me any confidence in the post office at all.